Does Hello Games' next big update make No Man's Sky worth revisiting? Let's find out! If you want base building and multiplayer, yes. Otherwise, meh, maybe. Next hasn't re-engaged me much yet. Why? Let's find out! Please shut the fuck up! The next update will erase much of your progress you'll have already made, turning as it did almost all of my technologies amassed after 44 hours of play obsolete, and resetting the Atlas quest. The prospect of rediscovering whatever replacements have superseded these texts doesn't particularly appeal to me, nor does repeating the Atlas quest line, at least that I can just ignore, although it is a good source of tech. You keep your inventory slots in your ship, exosuit and multi-tool, at least, although my ship has changed shape. Additionally, any planets you were on upon updating will have been regenerated according to Next's new algorithms, placing in the solar system space station instead. There are some graphical upgrades, textures and models have more detail, space stations have more bustle, and the letterbox effect upon approaching an alien has gone. Clouds are a nice addition, if a bit over blurry, improved clouds are said to be on their way, and the Saturn-like ring systems are spiffy. The pop-in is still pretty awful. Third person mode is finally here, and it can bog off. I want fewer separations between myself and my character, not more. Massive base building has improved, with more parts and bigger sizes available. Finally, in a game about travelling across the galaxy and exploring new worlds, you're able to make a home and stay put. Thank goodness as a teleporter, this makes finding a beautiful home planet all the more desirable, as it can now be made into a permanent home while you continue exploring. A terrain manipulator lets you customise your backyard, toy with wildlife, or tunnel until you randomly teleport for some reason. I assume they're still ironing out a few bugs. I didn't like the base building of Fallout 4 either, or particularly in any game where the core motivation is supposed to be grounded in exploration. But I understand having a base of operations, I just hope I actually find a pretty enough planet on which to sink the extra effort. The solar system I am stuck in appears to be quite firestormy, just a little on the arm Armageddon-y side of things, and of course all my exosuit techs designed to survive such conditions are gone. The long-awaited multiplayer is finally here. Unfortunately, you need friends who play No Man's Sky, which I lack. It's always felt to me like No Man's Sky is supposed to be a somewhat lonely experience anyway. I'm not interested at this point, but if you are, you can team up with three friends to make gestures at each other. My initial impression is one of annoyance at having artificially lost progress, but I'm going to give it more time. The list of changes within this update is pretty extensive. Obtaining and commanding fleets, finding super shiny RNG techs, and discovering and building a beautiful home are among the things that are enticing me most. I might even customise my character model one day. No Man's Sky's initial release was a mess of bollocks, but finally, though possibly too late for some, much of the pre-release promise has come to pass with the next update, although I still don't see any dinosaurs or sandworms. I hope it grabs me soon. There'll be more on this if I get more out of it. In the meantime, who should like, subscribe and hit the bell? Ah!